Hey, this is Bruce Gabriel with 101 PowerPoint Tips for Business Managers. And today's tip is how to add professional polish to your slides using the alignment tools. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. As someone who leads workshops with business managers on how to use PowerPoint more effectively, one of the main things that I hear from, from my students is I want to learn how to make my slides look more professional. And one of the easiest ways to make your slides look more professional is to pay attention to alignment. Well, here's an example of a slide that you might show uh, to an executive. And you can see that it doesn't really look as professional as you would like. And one of the easiest things you can do to fix that is to align your elements. And you can see what a huge impact that has on the image that you're projecting. A sloppy slide is kind of like meeting somebody who hasn't combed their hair, their clothes are wrinkled, uh, they didn't tuck in their shirt. It looks unpolished, it looks unprofessional, it looks undisciplined. But you can see how just presenting a slide that's very well aligned enhances your credibility. And so alignment tools are going to be very important as you're trying to build support for your ideas um, in the business world. And let me show you some of the great tools that PowerPoint has available for aligning your slides. Let's go back to the original slide. The first tool I want to show you is the grid lines tool and you go up into the view tab and you click on this checkbox grid lines and you can see all of these dotted lines appear and these dotted lines allow you to grab elements and move them around and try to line them up so you can see that this can be uh, can be fixed by lining them up along this grid line so grid lines are one of the tools that you'll use in PowerPoint to align your slides the second tool I want to show you is um, for automatically making these alignments. You can, you can manually move things around against these grid lines, but there's, there's more automatic tools for that, and I want to show you those. For example, you can see these four elements up here. The spacing between each of these elements um, is not the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this element, I'm going to move it up against the grid line right here. And I'm going to grab this element, I'm going to move it up against the grid line as well. Okay? And now I want all of these four boxes to have the exact same spacing between them. And the way I do that is I grab all four of those boxes, holding down the shift key, and then I go up into the format tab, go to the align drop down menu over here, and I go to distribute horizontally. And when I choose this a menu item, all of these boxes are now going to be distributed so that the space between them is exactly the same. The second tool in the align tool is the align is I want to align them either along the top or I want to align them along the bottom. The align top will make everything line up on the top and the align bottom will make everything align up on the bottom. And everything will move to whichever has the highest so for example if I go align top now they will all line up with this line because this has the highest uh, this is the highest uh, for the top. So everything will move to the, to the highest. You can also want to align things on the left. So for example here so I want all of these to line up here, but if I go align left, what happens is they're actually all going to tuck over to here because this has this is the furthest left, and so everything's going to move over to whatever is the furthest left. And now I've broken my uh, my distribute horizontally now. Now these are no longer going to be the same space. So I'm going to undo that. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this and I'm just going to move it back so that this line becomes the furthest left. And then when I grab all of these elements, all of these boxes. I go align left, they're all going to line up right there. Right? The same thing over here. If I want to align these on the left, I first need to move this over here. And then when I grab these two elements and I go align left, they're all going to line up. Right? Same thing over here. I move these over to the left and now I can align them on the left. Okay, so now they all share um, a left border. If I had said align right, for example, if I had these three elements and I said align right, they're all going to align with this line because this is the furthest right. I'll demonstrate that for you. We don't want that. Okay. The third thing I want to show you is the smart guides. And the smart guides are these lines that automatically show up that, that tell you whether you're lined up with something or not. So for example, over here you can see that this line, this border is further, doesn't line up over here. But if I grab this and I start to drag it back, you can see how this dotted line shows up and now I know that I'm lined up correctly right same thing over here I can grab this dotted line and I know I'm lined up correctly same thing over here see how it shows up and the same thing right over there and so there you have it there's uh, 
There's some really great alignment tools in PowerPoint. The grid lines under the view tab, the um, alignment drop down box, distribute horizontally, align top, align bottom, align left, align right, and of course the smart guides which show up automatically. I'm Bruce Gabriel. For more information about my book and more tips on using PowerPoint to influence and persuade in the boardroom, yeah, that's better. For more information about my book, please go to speakingppt.com.